Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are around the globe. We are coming to you today with a lower bracket round six matchup. Uh, and in our left side, we've got the legendary man of speed and power himself, Lord Fizzlebeef. And on the right-hand side of the screen, we have our uh, spicy meister of pickles and beer. Today, I am joined in the booth by one soft numb. It is I, Solario Rex. Soft numb, what are we looking forward to today? I'm looking forward to um, these parties here. Let's take a look at the blursings real quick while our runners get ready to get started. Um... Uh-oh. <laughs> Pickles, just maybe a last-minute change here, but the fighter is going to get uh, plus 20 MDef and improved Thor Hammer. The thief is going to get resist lightning, ice, and poison, and then equip gauntlets and helmet. The black belt has plus 20% hit and plus 5 luck. The red mage, which we see Fizzle taking, is two extra level 1 magic points, so we'll have to see what's at level 1 for the red mage. And 800 gold, which is a really nice start to get some of that early magic. The white mage is boring and has equip shirt and equip axe. So, you know, boring white mage. And then the black mage has elemental plus magic and equip shields. So, um, that's how we see kind of our parties lining up. Uh, pretty much just the red mage versus the white mage for Lord Fizzlebeef and Pickles and Beer here. Uh, what do you, yeah, what do I you mean... think about our parties? I mean, I am of the opinion that that, based on blursings, based on available magics, that that red mage is far superior to that white mage. But, uh, um, you know, that'll be something that we'll have to ask Pickles and Beer about post-race. Uh, I think that we'll have to see what the magic turns out to be, but that white mage may make or break kind of how this seed pans out. Uh, we've seen white mages, you know, roll with harm four early in the spell list. Um, being locked out of life magic may make a difference here, so... We'll be able. We'll have to see uh, what's going on. And uh, comment in the chat. The ability to equip the axe will give that white mage the ability to swing that light axe as well as use it for its harm spell. So that is a curiosity that I hope comes to fruition here. Yeah. Um. If the the white mage is swinging your light axe, then it seems like something's gone a little bit sideways. But maybe if you find it early on, it's always kind of nice. Um, I mean, late game, why not? The light axe rolls up. It's not a bad weapon, right? It's not too bad, but generally you're going to want your white mage doing some other stuff, I, I think. Um, well, I think I've witnessed both of these runners have uh, a fighter using a light axe late into the late into a seed. So <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to see how it pans out here. You know, plus five light axe is going to slap. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, if it rolls up. And true, true, true. our, our uh, runners have started here. Let's see what white magic holds. Mute. Nothing. Harm is improved. Harm's okay. Ooh. And there's a, a nuke and a bane, oh, and we see an immediate, with reset the immediate reroll. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Probably resetting for one of those red mages so you can have four charges of nuke to begin with. Um. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, our restreamer, Odor... Oslato. Oslato, yeah. I knew that was wrong as soon as it came out of my mouth. Is, um, sinking them up. Sinking them up here for us. Boring white magic again. Let's see if Fizzle makes any changes. Nope, just buys nuke. <laughs> Picking so. up that nuke. Nuke, nuke. And walking right into that inn. You need nothing else. <laughs> speed and power indeed yeah that's enough to to take down temple of fiends garland goes down to one nuke cast very easily so we will see what tof says we go next so pickles and beer back in re-rolled his party decided to ditch the white mage knew exactly what was in white magic already stepped in real quick sees nuke goes hell yeah let's add nuke to the party Fizzle, checking the first chest of the game, going to pick up 10k gold. A very nice pickup early on in the game. Going to be able to afford all sorts of stuff. First key item found, Connell. We're getting out of the inner sea early today, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Fizzle's really happy to see that canal. We know Fizzle's pretty famous for not really wanting to do a marsh dive. So the canal makes it possible to, to completely fade marsh, assuming we get a ship here and somewhere in the inner sea here. 
I mean, we could always find a canoe and have an adventure. Uh, we could find a canoe and have quite the adventure, couldn't we? Um, one nuke takes down Garland and uh, gets some levels on our party. Not too bad. Get I was going to say, that's a great nuke roll, too. Over 300 oh. damage. Oh, immediate ship. Just kidding. There we go. Canal <laughs> ship. And some pocket and change. Pickles princess also has... going for the early dwarf check here. And Princess has um, less money than uh, Temple of Fiends had. So... Um, heal, house, uh, you can't judge a princess by her wealth, my dude. Yeah, this, this is true. Oh, and a, a crown. A bridge and a crown. Oh, that's uh, that's not bad. I wonder I'm if that'll uh, have Pickles go to the northeast side of the inner sea here. Yeah, I mean, with the early ship grab, I mean, that bridge isn't really going to make much of a difference. <laughs> Pickles is Thief going down immediately. Uh, but the rest of his party gets jumped up to level three thanks to that Thief's death. So, huzzah, I guess. <laughs> going to lose the ability to run early here, though. So that's uh, unfortunate. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, we're going to stop by Topher before we do anything else. Fair enough, fair enough. Pick, uh, let's see, we've got Fizzlebee picking up gloves. Gloves plus three, uh, which are actually surprisingly decent. So going to throw those on every single one of his Light Warriors, looks like. Uh, we got some early armor, too. That 10k really coming in handy. He's going to pick up a bunch of armor. Those sabers plus four also. Great early swords to swing. So Lord Fizzlebee yeah. decked out a little bit. He's got his ship. He's got his canal. He's going to do a few more checks here, and I imagine we see a uh, right-to-earth cave sort of uh, a feel. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. We're going to do some of our free checks. I, he might go to Provoka first, but um, Earth Cave is definitely... Oh, 100%. We need that level 2 magic. Um, in our future. And there's an herb. So our early inner sea checks are... Oh, and a TNT. Kind of paying off, which um, does mean that you know, fading one of the early dungeons becomes less risky the more key items you find. Yeah, there's quite a bit, quite a few of our early items have been found here. We know where the herb is, we know where the TNT is. We got bridge, we got ship, we got canal, we got crown. Yeah, um, kind of a full sort of inner sea set here. Um, while we go grab our level two magic, beat up some pirates and nuke. So we've seen a lot of runners stumble. This is uh, when uh, key items show up in non-traditional uh, orders. I feel like this, what we're seeing right now, we got the early canal, we got the early ship, we got a bunch of key items early. This is kind of the expected scenario when it comes to this flag set in particular. Uh, this all loose, a lot of early chest checks often lead to early key items. And I feel like for our runners, this is a pretty common and expected route. I think we see a lot of our runners stumble and have seen a lot of difficulties and trials and tribulations when it comes to not seeing this setup early. So we're, we're looking at a more traditional seed, I think, here. But we'll have to see how it pans out. Yeah, um, I would say, too, that uh, you know, this kind of like wealth of key items does sort of reward kind of small routing decisions. And there's life in level two that Fizzle didn't pick up. Um, Block two, maybe? Black level two magic might be the only thing of use. Confuse, I guess you could pick up. Another power word spell. Yep, power words are enhanced in this flag set as they have been all winter tournaments. So Confuse is a little bit better. And we just wanted to see what was in black before we picked up life, I suppose. Um, no real harm in that. Pickles and Beer picking up their bottle from the pirates here. Let's see where Lord Fizzlebeef goes. There, there's an argument here to go to Elfland, turn in that herb, see what we get. Um, or we can just, uh, head over to Melman. Oh, Sahags with unruttable Sahags. If they have a script too, that's just, oh, it's one of the most annoying things. I feel like running into Sahags on the open sea is pretty common and super annoying. It's just one way to eat up your spell charges when you're trying to travel around the, travel around the world. And time. I mean, it just, it feels so slow. Even though you know that, like, both runners are going to have 
found this unrunnable pack every once in a while. It just feels so slow. You're like, oh, I gotta deal with this. Pickles and Beer head into Elfland. Lord Fizzlebeef. Hooray, hooray, hooray! Hooray! Gonna go All turn right. into TNT, getting his bridge and... Pickles crown. showing us level 3 black magic. Quad X, Temper, huge gets. Quad yeah. X, another one of those empowered spells. Uh, Quad X will, you know, eliminate enemies up to 600 HP. Uh, the traditional value being 300 HP, so doubling that value is huge. Uh, you can use that against every fiend except in Chaos, and I expect both of our runners to be pulling that out here. Um, we've seen several times in this tournament where, you know, you get a big swing from your fighter, from your thief, from, you know, your 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 swingy boy, and then you end up with quad Xing one of the fiends. That's a very traditional way that we've seen in this flag set to knock out those fiends. So I'm expecting quick fiend fights with that early quad X. Yeah, and um, another thing in quad X's favor is that the experience scaling is a little bit um, it's a little bit odd in this flag set because the experience gain is a little bit lower than our traditional race flags, but you gain a lot of experience as you progress the seed, a lot of bonus experience. So each shard is going to give you a certain fraction of a percent higher experience, and then each orb you light as well gives you um, some number of, I think, believe it's 50% on orbs. Every one you light gives you extra experience, so... Um, All right. Well, we do have pickles and beer going into Marsh. Uh, we we've heard it before. We've heard it. Been, we've heard it said. Uh, Lord Fizzlebeef is going to dodge Marsh like he dodges death, and uh, we are <laughs> we are seeing if there's going to be anything here. This is going to uh, be a determinant water. What is water? Is that for the? Ruby. Is that the ruby? It's got to be the ruby. Oh my goodness, so we may have something at the Ruby here that could be very detrimental to Fizzle's run. Yeah, it kind of depends on, on what's in the Titan's Horde there and, and everything, but definitely um, something to look out for. Um, real early access, too. I mean, not that Pickles and Beer is going to do this, but you could, in theory, just go to Melmond and go see what, what the Titan has for us. He could. I, I I envision him doing that immediately, uh, following a, a dive to bottom marsh to see see what's down there. We'll have to see if there's any other additional key items down here. Um, it'll be very interesting to see if that is the case. Uh, Fizzle going to Earth two, going to see find out. Uh, I always uh, am on pins and needles as to whether or not Earth is Earth is unrunnable, um, because you run into at least two of them, and there's runnability. So huzzah! Yep. The thing about the early Earth dive is that this is a a dungeon that it is the first orb dungeon you're supposed to do in the game, but it's still pretty high level for where we're gonna be at. Just kind of fresh out of tow, really. Oh, it um, can be quite dangerous. I mean, Fizzle's still at what level four, level five. Uh, not a lot yeah. of stats there yet on his light warriors. So. Yep, yeah, and that four. Black Mage taking a little bit of a dirt nap there. But level two life saves the day again. There's our Ooh, crystal. Crystal. Adamant. Hey. All the key items, baby. So Earth definitely um, paying off for Fizzle here. Let's see what black shirt. A black shirt for pickles and beer. It's not so too bad. nothing really in bottom Earth, bottom Marsh there. Just the ruby out of Marsh. So that could still lead to something. That could still be. Uh, an item of import, but we'll have to see how it pans out. Yeah, and the other thing to know is that neither dungeon so far, now I'm, I'm going to curse both of our runners here by, by saying this, but has produced a nasty unrunnable pack, right? Like a lot of times early game ha can be kind of swung back and forth by if you see, you know, unrunnable mucks or something that have poison touch. Oh boy, putting that putting that out into the universe. <laughs> well, I said it because I already saw the mucks were runnable, so <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right. I'm well, a little we've, got, we've got images here, eye mages, however you want to pronounce it, but Fizzle takes them down. Yep. With a flick of the nuke. And nuke solves a lot of early game problems. It solves a lot of problems in general. <laughs> nuke also solves a lot of problems, period. <laughs> But, Ooh, a rune sword plus five? Is that what we just picked up? That's not a bad uh, early game sword. Oh, we're not switching over to it, though, so whatever, I guess. We're just going to nuke our way through our problems. 
We're definitely nuking our way through this vampire gets the microwave treatment. Uh, I think that was the ruse stick? I, I didn't quite see on Astos. But Fizzle resets out of Earth. So he did not find the rod. Um, so he was not able to progress. Uh, we uh, know that the rod is not in Marsh. So where's Fizzle going? Fizzle going, looks like he's going to be heading to Crescent Lake to see what our Circle of Sages provides to him. Yep, and it looks like the second encounter is a pretty good walk off of the hard reset there. I see Pickles of Beer burning one off real quick um, there at Northwest Castle. Um, and yeah, that's a great note on the encounter yeah. table. Yeah. It's always one to figure out where your long walk is, because you don't want to fight the things in the forest on the um, inner sea. It's just useless. So we're going to know first from Lord Fizzlebeef here what the Circle of Sages holds for him. Uh, if this is not the rod, I feel like he's going to grit his teeth and head to Marsh um, and feel spectacularly behind. <laughs> yeah, um, I would say that about... I, I, I bet both of our runners feel behind at this point. Um, you didn't find anything in Marsh either. I mean, you found the ruby, but um, not a lot, so... You know, with that in the back of your head. And there's some change. That, that wasn't helpful. A little bit of gold. So, Fizzle, going around the Outer Sea. Going to head on over and see. Yeah, he's headed back to Elfland. It's March time, baby. Yeah, and Fizzle is sad. Thanks, Chanigan. <laughs> <laughs> Which probably means... If, if my... My logic brain is doing this correctly. It means the rod's got to be past the, the ruby here, I believe. Yes, but the question is how far beyond the ruby is the, <laughs> is the rod? Uh, we could we could see an oxyale here. We could see a chime. We could see a key. We could see all of those items. I mean, everything's been crunched be. early on in this seed. Right. So we've got money. We've got a shard. We've got a house. And we've got a little got bit of gold. So nothing. What Sarda got? Are we feeling Sarda, vanilla today? Oh, uh, I, 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 I don't know. I think Sarda is gonna have a long sword minus one or something. Sarda always. Yeah, I've I noticed in these this is <laughs> this is canoe, and then Oxiel, Chime, and Key are in ordeals together. Oh, there's okay. a key. There's the key. So you gotta go. You gotta go to Marsh. You gotta get your ruby. And then you gotta go here and you get your key. And then... Do you have to go back to Marsh and find the rod? Wouldn't that be spicy? Oh, key locked Marsh for the win? <laughs> Is that the suggested play here? Oof. I, I, I don't know if it's the suggested play. I think you're gonna go to Canaria first. But, um, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't... <laughs> it, would, it would be key amusing. Marsh is gonna be the last of the key locks I think we check here, but... Yeah. So this oh, is so this does mean that so far Marsh is required and Earth isn't. Now we there's a couple harm of items. four and fade at level five white magic, and it looked like we saw slow fire three and zap potentially at level uh, five black magic. So yep. decent black magic um, at level five. I don't think we're going to be seeing. I mean, fade level four. I think that's locked out. I don't think the our red it's boy is not going to be cast. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember as much, but I'm pretty sure you're right. That a new in marsh locked, please. All right, our chats Ooh. got their evil fangs out. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's the rod right away. That's no fun. <laughs> there's the confused staff. You can use that against uh, carry. So another interesting point here, we do have a lot of early key items, but we have not seen very many shards as of yet. So the goal of this race here is to get 28 shards. Uh, as soon as the runners get 28 shards, they'll be able to uh, unseal the dark orb and head into Temple of Fiends Revisited. Uh, with that though, uh, they need to find shards scattered across the world, randomly generated into chests across everywhere. Every chest has a chance of containing a orb or, Loader. in this case, an esper. Oh, 
Yeah. The, I don't know what it is about this flag set, if it's something about the way the logic is set up or something, but we, I see early floaters so often, it's just that canoe that's really kind of putting us down. Five early sets. floater, what's that like? <laughs> <laughs> early accessible floater, I have no idea what that's like. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, right Pickles now it's just a rock that we about carry. to complete the circuit on his key lock chest checks. I don't think he's been to dwarves yet. No, not to dwarves. One more shard. Yep. And I, I, I imagine we're not gonna go see what's in uh, uh, marsh lot here for pickles and beer. I, I think you go to Earth with that rod. Yeah. No, you absolutely not. Free keys. So we may never know what's down there. It's not really a lot that can be down there. Maybe the Oxeo. Pizzle picks up his ruse stick from Astos. Pickles and Beer likely headed to Dwarf Locked to see what they're hiding. Yeah, let's see what, what the dwarfs have for us today. Um, oh, gonna check uh, Temple of Fiends. Locked real quick first. Fizzle. Having done a few more checks, kind of knows a little bit more about Earth, but just kind of following in Pickle's footsteps here. We're going to turn in the herb, see what see what we get. Opal minus one out of Toph. Ooh, herb is that's tail. something we like to see. It's always, always a good thing to have. Um, and we can go promote. Um, there's nothing really stopping us. There's a dock there. You don't need the floater. You don't need the airship. You could, you could go do that, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Lord Fizzlebeef do exactly that. Ooh, All right. Gauntlet. Shards, Zeus Gauntlet out of uh, Temple of Fiends locked. Yeah, but to your point, Pickles and Beer, you know, ahead on, on exploration a little bit, or at least kind of past key exploration, but about five shards. Not, not really making too much progress on that front yet. Yeah, I mean, the only uh, the only thing that Fizzle's kind of holding on to right now is that he knows what's in the first three floors of Earth. So he will likely just kind of walk his way right through mm -hmm. that on his way back down. Um, and Pickles will likely check a majority of those chests looking for his shards, looking for his items. We're picking up some caps plus five, maybe? Nope. Looks like no. Just kidding. Oh, and the there's loot our loot. Is stuck with the dwarves. Another saber plus four, a great axe plus five. So, you know, that white mage we ditch could equip that one, supposes. We've got our tambourine. Yes. Tambourines and water today. <laughs> yeah, we've got some of our some of our fun flags on. So the shards today are named Espers. The loot looks like it's the tambourine, and uh, our titan was drinking water as opposed to uh, eating water. Water's my favorite. That's a lie, though. Coffee's my favorite. <laughs> All right. The lifeblood of the workforce. Yes. All right. Fizzle's about to get the weird news that there's nothing really here. But there's nothing here except for some money and a shard. And gonna go see Sarda. And get his key, and then start his key loop. So Fizzle also does at this point have a minor gear advantage. Um, I think he's been really checking those armor, che checking the armor shops a little bit more, um, and buying more armor for his light warriors. So there, his light warriors are have a little bit more absorb on them. Uh, not that that's gonna make a huge difference in what's uh what's in Earth here. Yeah, it may help you a little bit. Keeps some of your uh, friends up. Reset out of some money in Earth. No problem there. Pickles and beer. Going to be able to complete Earth. Please don't start another new game, Pickles. That would be devastating. <laughs> that that would be hilarious. But also devastating. <laughs> All right. Nothing of use there. Pickles finds out gonna get bottom right side chests 
And discover... There's a shark. Yeah. Huzzah! And now we're gonna... Ooh, unrunnable sharks, too. The sea is just not very nice to us today. The sea is teeming with sticky enemies. We're gonna go get our uh, loot first, it looks like. Um, here at... Uh, ooh, unrunnable... That's gross. <laughs> that pack is gross. <laughs> You mean you prefer to run from the ogre creep pack that's not worth much gold or experience? Yeah, I, I, I do. Especially since I'm pretty sure the creeps had a script or something. I saw yeah, they did have something that knocked uh, Pickle's Thief to, to the ground quite early. Yeah. Crystal, adamant, things we knew were here. The tambourine. There is that crystal and adamant. We'll have to see if Fizzle remembers that those are next to each other in that room, and if they had, if he heads back for it. He may say, I have the tail, I have the ruse stick, I don't need it. But he may also say, I like Excaliburs. Let's see if those turn-in items turn into that. Yeah, the vanilla Excal would be kind of interesting here, but we'll just have to see where... Fizzle decides to go, and taking the overland route to Corneria, it appears. Maybe? Gonna discover that oh, there's not much one. in Temple of Fiends locked. Yep. An opal armor that rolled down, which isn't great for us. Not really much else. And then Let's check the top corner first. Yeah, it's an interesting route. I I don't know that I've seen it too often, but I mean, better trap treasure is on, and these being key locked and trapped is a uh, usually leads to decent, if not great, things in these chests. So it's a respectable check, in my opinion. Oop, spiders! Unrollable spiders. Nuke is gonna nuke the spiders. Microwaved arachnids. I mean spiders, not arachnids. That's a different mo that's a different mob. My bad. The spider arachnid pack was unrunnable too though, so oh, those right. are also microwavable. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Microwave unsafe, I guess, maybe. A single wolf decides to accost the party here. Oh, that poor wolf lost his pack. I know. Oh, and the werewolf, purple wolf, um, great wolf, I guess, uh, pack here. Fizzlebeef is going to get, wolf. <laughs> yeah, the Fizzlebeef is going to get the, uh, the news here. Finds yeah. his rod, finds a shard, finds a cabin. Pickles and beer about to unseal that earth. Tablet. Give us our... First look at what's behind the rod lock here. Wow. I imagine if this will be shedding right back to Earth. I don't know what else. He might go do Elf, I guess, maybe, while we're here, but... Yeah, he hasn't checked nope. Elfland, but... Nope. Earth. Yeah, headed right back to Earth. He found that rod. He's like, let's go. Yep. So, at this point, an Elfland check, but... Shouldn't be too far behind... Uh, assuming that he's got pretty good memory of where the items are in this cave. I mean, you make a fair point, but at the same time, if Fizzle feels Fizzle likely feels behind because he didn't make that marsh dive, so he may just fade that. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly an option. So our our terminal key items. Oops. Fizzle remembering that he's been here before. <laughs> Oops. Remembering that he saved out when he did that. We He's got a gold cool. Cheerio on Pickles and Beer's side. Some decent armor for one of our mages. Maybe our thief. Finding a flat dragon armor as well. Um, love to see it roll up, but, you know, flat is still the best armor in the game. So, you take that. Yep. I mean, uh, let's see. Pickles has not turned in his herb or gotten gotten that herb yet, so... He does not have his tail as of yet, because it was herb into tail. Fizzle, remembering the crystal and the adamant in here, um, as we mentioned earlier, so he's picking those up. 
probably heading right to the vampire here. Oh, absolutely. So, we'll catch up here. These eye mages are just going to be microwaved. So, after all that rigmarole, <laughs> we do have our runners about 30 seconds, maybe a minute apart at this point in time. Um, so, you know, we had pickles and beer, had a white mage to kick off the race, saw Nuke at level one and went, uh-oh, uh, uh re-rolled his party immediately. Ooh, there's the canoe. Oh, wow. That could be, that could be big. Uh, so we've got the canoe, uh, from there. Anyway, Pickles as I was saying, <laughs> uh, Pickles saw that Nuke was level one, re-rolled his party immediately, so started off just a smidge behind Fizzlebeef. Uh, Lord Fizzlebeef did dive earth first, discovered there was no rod for him there, and had to kind of run this gauntlet, get into Marsh, find our ruby, find our key at Sarda, and is now finally making his way back through earth with the rod in hand. Pickles and Beer did dive Marsh first, which made up for his reroll party gambit. Um, so that has Pickles and Beer slightly ahead. Similar checks by both runners, but we are currently seeing that Pickles and Beer does not have his herb, which is the tail, but F Lord Fizzlebeef did not check the locked at uh, Elfland Castle, which contains the floater. So that's really the big difference between our two runners right now. Yep. Um, so Pickles and Beer are going to get into the air, I imagine, here next um, and start sort of widening the lead, kind of depending on where Fizzlebeef decides to route to after Lich. Um, bats getting in the way. Silly bats. Yeah, I mean, for Lord Fizzlebeef's sake, we've got to hope that he no. makes a quick stop at Elfland. Um, on his way around. The other thing that we'll be able to see is, uh, you know, I think I think the value here is that Fizzlebeef is likely to stop at Elfland because there is no chime, there was no oxy ale in this, this basement of Earth here. You know, if he had gotten the chime, if he had gotten the oxy ale, I think that he would likely have just gone to sea or gone to sky. Um, but because there is no progression outside of that canoe, I think Elflin becomes that much more likely. Yeah, um, I definitely agree with that assessment. Pickles and Beer are going to go get the uh, sad news here about Sages and their complete lack of I mean, anything. He, do he does pick up Warp here, though, so that'll be nice. That's, yeah. Especially and... if we have to go to Ice. Lich has fast. I don't think it's going to help, but Lich has fast. <laughs> we've got nuke. We've got an axe. Game over, Lich. We showed we showed Lich our axe. So <laughs> we'll see where Lord Fizzlebeef decides to route to next. But so would... at twenty nine minutes, or yeah, twenty nine minutes, thirty minutes into the seed, we do have pickles and beer getting into the air. Ooh, something had. Is that stone touch from the the ghoul? Oh, I don't Gross. know. I didn't see. That's not that's not great at all. Pickle's gonna show us what the adamant turns into. Vorpal plus one. Decent sword. <laughs> yep. It's alright. We'll swing it. It is a legendary sword. We're gonna go see what the crystal turns into here. Derve um. says. Can't hold ribbon minus one. I mean, you don't really wear a ribbon for its yeah. armor benefit. Yeah. You wear it because it keeps you alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not. I, I mean, <laughs> the ribbon rolling down is fine. It, it doesn't really have that much like absorb or anything anyway. <laughs> like, this is very true. You're you're pretty much doing it. Oh, We're no. gonna turn the bottle. Fizzle. <laughs> Go check Elfland. Fizzle. Fizzle. <laughs> no. That's oh, not no. what I expected to happen. <laughs> We're going to go check Volcano. All right. Pickles discovering level seven fast. Um, gonna going to have a quick womp womp moment. Um, Fizzle heads right into, into Volcano. I mean, unfortunately, this makes sense. 
you're presented with a bunch of options. Volcano is the most chest dense area here. Um, probably has something. Probably has a chime or an oxyale, I would imagine. Uh, but yeah, we just happen to know that if we would just go check Elf Lock, maybe we would get in the air. Yeah, the thing is, with the availability of the floater and the skyship, um, it's just as likely that the required next steps are in the air. So Pickles and Beer making this play to Cardia will show us if, you know, Fizzle's making a good play or an unfortunate play. Yep, and it looked like the, the bottle turned into our Excal today, so... An Excal even... plus four. So both of our runners with fighters in hand, tail is available to us. Pickles does not have it quite yet, but uh, let's see. Matoya's cave. Money, money, money. Matoya had the herb and the TNT, and Pickles I didn't pick so. it up. Oh, there's our cube. Well, that's uh, that's gonna be good to have, but doesn't. I was going to say, Fizzle, go back for that prayer ring, please. <laughs> Never. Never go back. Just kidding. Go back for the yes, prayer ring. We are definitely thing. going back for the prayer ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, floaters probably is not required. There's very few things that are hard required in these seeds. Um, Marsh, in this case, because... We need the key so that we can get the, uh... Um, Alright, Fizzle fruit, in the but... Volcano Armory. Finds a decent number of shards there, which is a good call-out. And we do have Pickles headed into Volcano himself. Yep. He's, he's gonna find those shards, he's gonna find those items. Looks like Fizzle's going to walk out of Volcano with his Armory findings. Probably save and head back in. He's going to dive deeper. Yeah, I I wouldn't I would expect Fizzle to finish um, Volcano before doing anything else it makes the most sense. Um, huh. Yeah, so uh, we do have Danny doing our tracking for us today. She is able to confirm that Pickles did skip the Matoya chests. So, oh. um, yeah, <laughs> he, he may. I mean, if I uh, may have forgotten that because he did turn in his crystal. Um, to yep, get that ribbon. Definitely went and got the ribbon and just forgot the chests. That's going to be an unfortunate mistake because that's the tail. Um, yeah, I mean, TNT as well was the power bonk. So yeah. Matoya chests led to tail and power bonk, which is huge. And as, as Chad is pointing out to us, it's even worse because you're carrying around this nice dragon armor, this nice Excal plus four um, that... It's just sort of weighing you down here until you get to the promotion. Yeah. Oh, no, is uh, I think how I would summarize that. Yeah, but both of our runners are having a couple of oh no moments based on our knowledge here. And there's a katana. There's our first katana. Vanilla katana, still, still nice. There's that light axe we were discussing before the race. Yeah, one of the one of the blessings on the white mage is the ability to equip axes. So we were discussing how fun it would be to have a white mage that is both casting the harm spell from harm two spell from the light axe and swinging it simultaneously. Yes, we would have a white berserker instead of a white samurai. But um, right now we are just kind of finishing volcano. Picking up a flame shield, some good defense there. And we did see Fizzlebeef throw the silver plus four shield onto his black mage. That is one of the blessings on the black mage this time around. Black mage able to equip shields. Um, I don't think we've, because Nuke is level one, we haven't really seen him make use of the elemental plus magic at level eight that that black magic has access to. Yeah, really just some extra sweeper charges at this point, unfortunately. Oh. And the oxygen, which means that Fizzle's gonna go even longer without finding his flitter. I would guess. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, who knows? But I mean, I, I assumed he was gonna swing through Elfland on his after Earth Cave, and I, I'm just afraid to make any assumptions now. 
Yeah, I do kind of wonder what we're looking at here. Because I could see a world where we decide to go promote and then clean up a little bit. That might lead Ooh, us to fizzle, fizzle skipping the red D chest. That's spicy. Although you've got a lot of key items here. You know, not not too spicy. I mean, he know I mean it, it, the next step is either ice or C. I can't see him going to ice, so it's going to be Oxyale. Into it's gonna C. probably be Oxyale. I would imagine. I, I mean Cause he hasn't he hasn't Ooh, turned into Harry with that Blizzard yet, right? Zeus Gauntlet coming out from the Thief. Ooh, Fire 2 coming out Ooh. as well. By Mages. No more nukes available. We're going to heal up the Fighter. Oh, no. We're coming into a danger zone here. Two hits for 34 damage. That's not a lot. Heal Pot goes on to the Fighter. Fighter's going to use the Power Gauntlet here. Oh, Carry 1 has teeth. Power Gauntlet coming out. We're going to Power Gauntlet again. Mm. Carry swinging. Not hitting for a lot, but it's still dangerous. We're going to Heal Pot here in case that Blizzard comes back around. Heal Pot again. Carry with thunder. thunder. Oh goodness. Heal pot. Oh, oh no. And a wipe. Knocked down by carry one. Ouch. And you gotta just go right back in, because you need that you need that oxy ale. At least. Yep, I think we're we're gonna sprint sprint our way down to the oxy ale, and we'll have to see what he does from there. Without teleport magic, I don't think we've picked any up. We might just see another try at carry. Carry's gross though. Like Thunder and uh, um, Blizzard. What was the other sweeper? Blizzard. Yeah. Just not not happy for us. So pickles and beer finding his oxy ale. And while we have a lull in the action, I do want to. Make sure that we are giving all of the love to Oslato doing our restreaming today and Danny doing our tracking. Um, great work behind the scenes making the commentators look good. Um, is uh, very difficult when <laughs> you're dealing with me. So really great to see. Gonna go pick up that Oxy Ale, which is right here. There it is. Run to Kizzle's done an excellent job remembering where these things are. I feel like I go through and I never remember what boxes I actually got things out of. So, yeah, and it doesn't look like Pickles and Beers has too much of a level advantage on um, Lord Fizzlebeef right now. So we'll just have to see like if Carrie treats him nicer or what we're doing here. Yeah, we have to see how it pans out. We're picking up. Oh, there was a shard here. He wanted the shard, yep. Okay. We know we that see Red D is susceptible to quad X. We're gonna find out what's in this chest. Opal, Opal plus helmet. three helmet. Not all that interesting. Definitely skippable, definitely not gonna punish Lord Fizzleby for his play here, but um just gonna try carry again. Maybe Fizzle maybe going to carry, carry once more. Over. Gonna power bonk immediately. Oh, we're going with confused strats. Here we go. Carry confused. confused. Nailed it. Step one. Confusion. Carry smacks herself for a decent amount of damage there. Gonna continue throwing confusion out there. Thief is gonna swing. Fighter's gonna swing. And we're gonna get some nukes out on the table. Two hits, 53. Not really what we're looking for here. Same fight going on move. on Pickles and Beer's side. We're just going nukes on Pickles' side. No confusion coming out. Kelly. And then we're gonna try a quad X here. See what we. And Ooh, Boone and we are Dynamite. in that range. So Lord Fizzlebeef, the first to take down Carry here outside of the um, uh, volcano. Quad X also taking Carry down on Pickles and Beer side. So we got our runners in somewhat lockstep, but Pickles is in the air. Um, so he's going to be able to get to where he wants to go a little bit faster. Yeah, we'll have to see. Where this where this is gonna take Fizzle if he's just gonna go to on rack or if he's gonna yeah, take this to stop. I would say probably tail turn in into C. Ooh, Shark and Red Sahag pack is also unrunnable here. That is not happy. <laughs> well, sharks are unrunnable, Sahags are unrunnable. <laughs> 
Danny in chat urging Fizzle to go to Elfland, but <laughs> Danny doesn't, doesn't feel like it. No. So he he needs to go there for the cube at some point, it seems. So Yep. I mean he will get there eventually, because <laughs> I mean I guess you don't technically need the cube, but it would be very nice to have. I mean it all depends on how many shards we find in in C. I mean, I don't know that we have enough shards right now to, to make it happen, Captain. Yeah, it I suppose like Fizzle does have, what is that? 16? Uh, 6, 12. Uh, yeah, 16 shards? Not too shy of 18. So. so, can he get, what would that be? I'm doing math on 12. Twitch. Eight, shard, 8 shards and a carry kill? Yeah. That's doable. A cracking kill, but yeah. Ooh, Pickle's going for the slab turn-in. He's looking for the power bonk. He's looking for the tail. He's looking for the two items that he left in Matoya's cave. Uh, we have the ruse stick already. The ruse stick came from Astos. Yeah, this is likely... Oh, Opal Cheerio. Yep. That makes sense. Yep, I was going to guess incentive Katana, but... See, and we don't have eyes on our incentive item yet, although Corneria had five items, so it could have been one of those. Seeing Saber at level 7 Black Magic, probably not going to see that cast. No. Just not going to... Probably just not going to deal with that. We're going to go to Mermaid's Floor and go... go find out what's there. Hopefully, a lot of shards. Yeah, Fizzle's got his fingers crossed right now that it's Shard City down in Mermaid Town. Yeah. I mean, we are technically in Shard and Go mode. I mean, we've got oh, yeah. <laughs> Key, we've got Loot. I mean, I think both of our runners would like to have, like, ten or so more levels, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably. Although, Fizzle may just grab all the shards and then Head into One. head into Topher to grind. I would be surprised if that's not the hope slash strategy. Uh, we do have Rubes in chat pointing out that Gaia had double houses in its item shop, meaning that there won't uh -oh. be a shop item for sale today because it it rolled into a house. Yeah, thanks, Rubes. I uh, I missed that. Usually trying to keep an eye. Ooh, great sharks are runnable though. Huzzah! Another and shard. We've gotten that... three, so that's only five more we need to find, and then we have all the shards we need, and we can go. Very attainable. All yeah. right. Looks like Pickle's going uh, crack inside first. Am I seeing that right? Is it? Yeah, looks like it. Ooh, he found both pro capes. Um furthering the theory um, that the pro capes need to appear in the same dungeon together. They're buddies. And there's a there's a so 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 called loose ribbon there in, in that chest. Ooh, ribbon and a shard. Drop so, those gloves. Pick up that ribbon. Throw your gloves oh. on the floor. Throw a ribbon on your head. So there's two ribbons now in, in C. So that's great for Fizzleby. Yeah, Fizzle will have... I believe he'll have all three ribbons then. I believe so. And that would be that would be awesome. And we found a Falcon. And we're going to take the Ice Shield. We're going to pop it on our Thief. We do not carbonate bubbles. I mean, you not don't really need that to. <laughs> Not really that surprised Bubbles wasn't in the way. Yeah. Well, this I'm a little though. bit disappointed, but yeah, that, that mermaid gets to go away. Um, Sorry, Bubbles Soda Company. Maybe next yeah. time. Yeah, but... Yeah. <laughs> also, Fizz lives to Bubbles another day. <laughs> I wonder if there's a world here where Fizzlebeef ends up one shard short and goes to Elfland. Oh, there's another one, though. There's another one. Is he going to save? Ooh, he's not popping out Ooh. to save. 
Oh, that makes my heart hurt. <laughs> it's a little bit risky, but um, it's so it's so long to save out of Onrak too. You gotta yeah. watch. I mean, you're not wrong, but I'm with Danny. That's that's the anxiety <laughs> spiker for me. I'm like, oh god, he died to carry one. If we die to Kraken one as well, like. <laughs> It, that was a lot of time in the mermaids. I know, but it makes sense where War Lord Fizzlebeef is, right? He's got to feel behind. You know, oh, he, he, there's the he, ribbon. Yep. And I throw it on the ground. Procate goes away. We get a ribbon. So we've got ribbon on our life caster. We are we are as defensive as we possibly can be. Okay, so we saw we've seen and another all of the chests. Yeah. We've seen all the chests now. I think Fizzle's gonna be one short. Um, I don't think I don't think uh, Pickles found enough shards. Were there two on... on the mermaids side? I don't know where Pickles started the dungeon at though. It's the problem. Short sword, blah. Sun sword, bus blah. Ooh, hey, sun sword plus four. It's good. It's not great. I... I said less compared blah. to what he has, but it's good. <laughs> it's it's Maybe less put it blah. On the, put it on the uh, red mage. Hang on to it for that lich two fight. Ooh, what are we dropping now? I don't know, but we're, we're grabbing a pro ring for our, for our uh, ninja here. All right, so we're, we're swinging a katana. The there it is. We're swinging the, swinging the sun sword plus four on that knight. Um, he picked up the vorpal, didn't he? Uh, that one I don't remember. Is he not gonna swing over the Vorpal plus one? Not over the Sun Sword plus four. Um. He, oh, he got the he picked up the adamant, but he didn't go back and turn it in, so he does not. Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't turned in the adamant yet. If that's yeah. that's what the Vorpal was, so he's picked it up. He's picked up the adamant twice. That's where my brain was. <laughs> he has picked up the adamant twice. Um. But if he if he's left one shard short here. I wouldn't be surprised if that's in that's not that we do some inner sea checks and maybe that leads us to something. Ooh, pull the shield. And we're gonna put it on the black mage. Or he goes into ordeals hoping to find a single shard, but finds no shards in the chime. That's uh that that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You have some terrible ideas, sir. <laughs> ah, they're not terrible ideas. They're entertaining ideas. Oh, yeah, nice. Azlato's right. Same. It's got to be Waterfall would be first. We, we, that doesn't said... mean there's shards in Waterfall. Get out of here, chat. I know. Plus, uh, Waterfall's it's not the best thing anyway. Oh, oh and we, we got, got a bane of crack in on Pickles and Beer side. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Have some poison smoke, my squiddy dude. Uh, uh, no, not new game. <laughs> Pickles. Pickles and beer is drawn to the new game sign. And we are trying to confuse, trying the to Kraken. confuse Kraken. Ineffective. Yeah, we're gonna do some nukes this time around. Ooh, I missed Hitting how many night for quite a bit. I missed but how many come into town. Nuke, 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 nuke. Uh, Fizzle does not have the Bane Sword yet. I believe the Bane Sword was picked up in one of the Cardia Isles. Yeah. Looking to heal that knight up. Gonna throw some more nukes on the table. Does Ooh. Fizzle have... Oh, that Confuse works, so... Uh, uh, does Fizzle have Quad X? Yeah, Fizzle has Quad X. That's how he killed Craig Carey. There it is. Quad X time! Nuke. Nuke before Quad X. Says. Let's see, and this is... Good, it rates terminated. And we'll see where that puts Fizzle here in the uh the old shard hunt, but I think you're right. I think we're one or two short. We're yep. four short. Wait, what happened? <laughs> How did we miscount this badly? <laughs> well, he picked up I mean he needed he needed nine? No, he needed 12. He needed he, 12. He got four from Kraken. Needed eight. And he picked up another... F I mean, is he three short? Nah, he's definitely four short. Okay. That's a, he it, was, it was four or five. 
throughout the rest of C. So if, if four and in C, four, four from Kraken, he's still yeah. four short. That yep, we did, we did that Twitch math, which is always gets you into trouble. Hooray! <laughs> we will take an Ice Shield plus three over a Flame Shield flat. Yep, we've got, uh, let's see, Pickles is continuing to dig out. He leaves Bubbles alone as well. Sorry, that Lotto. Uh, Fizzle going to find out what is in Waterfall here. One Esper. There's a Shard. There's some money. There's an Aegis, Aegis, Aegis shield. shield. Yeah, we'll pick that up. We're going to draw. Because two Warriors can wear it. Mage Staff. The mage Stick. One Esper. We're two left on Fizzle Beef's side. Um, I am wondering if he has forgotten Elfland. I don't know. We'll have to see. We're, right now we're forgetting if we have any teleport magic because we're in Waterfall. Ugh. Walking out of Waterfall just feels no good. Yeah. It's just not. At least it's not proc gen Waterfall. Then walking out is just as bad as walking in. I mean, sometimes. I mean, sometimes you walk into Proc Gen Waterfall and the 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 room is right in front of you. So sometimes you walk into Proc Gen Waterfall and you see the room, but you can't get there. Also true. <laughs> so let's see where we All go right. next. Pickles does have warp. Maybe it's level seven though. Maybe he doesn't have any charges quite yet. Where does Fizzle go? Where is he headed now? <laughs> Danny, Danny yelling as we're gonna go check the caravan. Yeah, yes. he does not know that there was two houses. Well, he hasn't Gaia. been to Gaia because he doesn't have a floater. It makes sense. All right. On the rooftop, shouted out. I think. Uh, what are we doing here? Is it an ordeals play? Are we gonna go to ordeals? We might be going to ordeals. We might be going to ordeals. We are. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, we're going to Elfland. He's going to do it. He's Elflanding. Yeah, we found the bottom dock. All right. We're Pickles and Beer. 54 minutes into the seed is going to be our first runner into Temple of Fiends Revisited. Fizzle finds his floater. Devastation. Again, yeah, 54 minutes is... into the seed, Fizzle, our Lord Pickles and Beer, is headed into Temple of Fiends Revisited. He did not find detail, so we'll have to see how this pans out. He's like, uh, what is he swinging? <laughs> we have not found Fainsword? our, we never found our Xbox. Um, so we don't know where Warmack is. We don't know, where, therefore we don't know where the Masa is. Uh, uh, but... Pickles, Pickles has the sun, sun plus four, four on his fighter, carpet. so that is what he's what that is what he roll that is what he is rolling with. So that's kind of equal, actually, because that's what we're both rolling with. Although we will get the Excal, I believe, here from the fairy. Yep, the fairy in the bottle had the Excal plus four, so that's a pretty big upgrade. How did the Excal fit in the bottle? I mean. <laughs> it, it's not about fitting the sword in the bottle. It's the fairy was in the bottle. So how did the Excal hide in the fairy? Right. This is this is close to Twitch math, and I think we need. <laughs> 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 okay, we are going to cardia our way through this problem. There is a shard. There, there is, is a shard. shard. We're done. We're leaving. Doesn't even We're out. Checking anything else. We've got Pickles and Beer. He's got the Floor 3 Temple of Fiends Revisited grind, which I guess has become the standard now, right? That's what we see quite often. We're going to go grab some magic for our Swingy Boys temper. Maybe. Maybe. We're going to check level 6 magic? Are we? Are we going to go... Grab ourselves some. What was here? Fast? No, fast is seven. Oh, warp. warp. Okay. I knew something. So was that he here. can do his grind and get back out of the Temple of Fiends. Yep. Faster. Go to go to Provoca. Pick up life on the night. Probably. It could happen. Yep. I, I 
I would, I would imagine that's what we're doing here. Landing in Provoca. All <laughs> but right. First Pickles, off, we're going to try and crush Got a grind. Going to pop out. Besides, the bad men packs are not really what we uh, desire today. I think, yeah, they were they were nasty. I think Fizzle making sure that he had all the shards he thought he did. Um, and we'll be entering Temple of Fiends here for his... just kidding. Uh, well, we gotta go. We gotta go buy some. Oh, we're gonna go buy New God and Ninja. <laughs> all right. Okay. Fine. Surprised we're not stocking up on heal pots while we're in Carnaria, but you know, it's good. All right, so is Pickles can looks like Pickles is taking that fight. I think it was runnable, so he may be continuing his grind. But we'll have to see here. We'll have to see if Fizzle Beef is going to grind as well. And just like that, our runners have returned to being what is basically neck and neck here. Yep. All right, so oh. Pickles, uh, the Gasty fight, unrunnable also. Uh, additionally, Pickles is continuing his grind here. We'll have to see if Fizzlebeef is also going to be grinding. Or if he's going to decide to go. I mean, he takes this fight, which is runnable, so I imagine we're at level oh, 14. he's level 14. Yes, I... Yeah. I <laughs> we're going to need a few more levels. <laughs> yeah, we're just... We're just going to... We're just going to try and fight these Gasties. Nuke some Gasties. This, this, this will work out for us. Ooh, and that Excal doing some nice damage on that I mean, knight. Yeah, it's, that may be the biggest difference here in this race. Yeah. I mean, Pickles and Beer is ahead in levels right now, but Fizzle has Warp to get back out, and he also is promoted, um, and those which is going to be huge. were worth two levels. Woo! So... We are we are doing pretty good here. Looks like and it's gonna these bad be men are chonky and nasty, just eating a nuke, most of them. Yeah, well, and the one the fighter hit, so they all actually ate nuke. A couple levels there, we're already up to eighteen. Fizzle catapulting up the level chain. Pickles and beer at twenty four. Pickles has warp, so he's warping on out. Gonna go save, maybe make our first real dive into Tof. I'll have to see. He may have just been out of... Oh, maybe. maybe he just needed to heal. Get out of the way, bats. <laughs> bats! I don't care what chaos is. Just just get out of my way. Ooh, low roll on that nuke left one of the bad men alive. You gonna swing, swing, swing? Nuke just for good measure. Make sure we get out of it. And we do. All right, so Pickle's finding an unrunnable gas D fight. We don't know if this, if he's grinding some more or if he's making his first dive. But either way, this will be some good, uh, good experience points for him. Yep, using our last level charges, we're at. Nuke twenty. Oh, he's at level twenty-five. I could see this being a real dive. Yep, looks like we're going for it. Phantom is runnable. Gonna get away. Gonna check our validation chest. Survey says. Gold crap. and and crap. gold, just not just money, just nothing. He's gonna shake his tambourine real quick. Ooh, and we're swinging at the bad man. I think we ran out of nuke charges. Yep, here we go. Ice three. <laughs> Probably see Fizzle warp out here at level twenty. Maybe try and get a little deeper. I don't know if 20 is quite where we want to be yet. Ooh, Sun Sword for the Red Mage. I don't okay, yeah, he's walking back out. Yeah, he's walking out. Gonna take the Worm Fight. Out of Nuke. Gonna throw an Ice 3. Gonna pause the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're all on the edge of our seats here, and the stream just kind of stutters a little bit. Snake Ladies. Level 21. That's that's getting up there, especially as equipped as Fizzlebeef is. Ooh, and some more unrunnable worms. We're gonna quad X them. Please die. Ooh, mm, quad X does not work. And they that have is... expert. Alright, on Pickles and Beer's side, we're about to see our first fiend, maybe. Lich 2 coming in hot. 
Sea Ray says, cute. fight, fight, wait, wait. Big hits, big hits. Big hits. Lich Two, comes three, back with a hit of their own. Five, five, that fighter five, hits for quite a bit, and Lich goes down. Love that Sun Sword on that Lich. Um, we're gonna go make sure that we are stocked up on items, heal ourselves, and Lord Fizzle will probably be starting his real Tofer runs here soon. Oh. <laughs> Fizzle realized he didn't have any houses, I guess? I assumed we were buying some more potions and houses and stuff, but I guess we're just saving the... Oh, we this might be a house. It. Is he going? Yep, he's burning off yeah, encounters, so I think he's gonna off. dive here. We're moving some stuff around. I'm gonna put the ruse stick on the thief. Uh, thief and slot war on the. Hmm. All right, Fizzle is not hanging out by the staircase. So it looks like he's making this a dive. Carry uh, two coming on pickles and beer side. Gonna hit him up early. Gonna get some snooks out there. The Roost stick comes out. Ink comes down the line. Not effective. That fighter swinging. Ooh, big hits and down. Yeah, so carry two down. Had rub, had an ink, but nothing really that scary. And here's our seafood party platter that is runnable, thankfully. Yes, sir. All right. What are we doing on... Let's see, we've got... All right, we've got the Sun Sword back Ooh. on the fighter. We've got a Giant Sword on that Red Mage, just in case he has to swing, I suppose. Unrunnable Metal Slimes, Lord Fizzlebee runs into that I don't remember on Pickle and Gear's side. I, yeah, I don't think we, we've seen that yet. Um, Getting some more experience. Yeah, making our Pickle's way running into some encounters, but... Uh, all right. Kraken 2, here we go. Gatekeeping time, question mark? Yeah, we'll we're gonna have temper, to see here. We're going to temper. The thief still has the ruse stick. I think we're looking to evade tank with the thief. Swirl comes out from Kraken 2, going to deal some damage down the line. First hit comes out, two, a little over 200 damage. Uh, looking okay on that, going to temper up a little bit more. Ruse coming out, heal 3 coming out. Just kidding, not tempering. Lit 2, another spell coming down the line. Right after that, heal 3 makes it not that valuable. Nuke comes out, 185 damage. More swings, 171 damage coming in on those swings. We're going to fight. We're going to fight. We're going to lit have a Lit 2 come down the line. That Thief swings, 3 hits, 3 damage. Huzzah! Sun Sword comes out again. That was 535 damage. Hot damn. Nuke comes out, takes down K2, and Pickles is headed to Tia 2's floor. Meanwhile, on the other side of the screen, we've got Lord Fizzlebeef hitting up, about to hit up Carry 2. Um, going to take a little revenge for that Carry 1 death, potentially. Well, we've got Tia 2 coming in hot. We've got our fast cast out. We're going to ruse cast on that Thief. That Sun Sword comes out early. One hit for 141 damage. Decent damage. Not a lot of hits, though. Temper coming out. Looks like just our, a swing our... from Tia 2. Looks like our Tia is a little bit dodgy today. Dodgy? Dodgy. All right. Sun Sword comes out. Ooh, that was a lot more hits for a lot more damage. <laughs> 800 damage <laughs> coming out. Temper going on that fighter again. Fight, fight. Ooh, fight. Fight. Coming in hot. Nuke, 155. Another swing from that Sun Sword. Six hits for 260 damage. Nuke comes in for just over 160 damage. That Roost Stick still coming in. We're going to fight. We're going to fight. We're going to nuke. We're going to nuke. Another swing coming in, 753 damage. We've got a tanky Tia, too. Nuke comes out, 121 damage. Boom. Oh, three hits for 71 damage. 71. The Thief gets the kill. Huzzah! And meanwhile, Fizzlebeef is hot on the tail here. Carry 2 not presenting any problems, and very swiftly on to Kraken 2, while Pickles and Beer will give us our first look at um, Chaos. Oh, boy. He's... Anxious about what he has to swing, looks like. So, worth noting, we haven't seen any big, scary spells yet, so I'm not sure what we're going to see here. <laughs> Chaos could be horrible. Yeah. We'll just have to see gonna... what Chaos decides to do here. Bane, fast, ruse, temper. Thunder comes out immediately. Roostick getting out on that fighter. Good to see. Temper getting out. Bane. Miracle Bane. No, thank you. Fast coming out. Gonna hit on that fighter. 
We're going for another Bane. We're going for Temper. We're going for Roost Stick. We're going to Temper it up again. Bane comes out. Nope. No, thank you. Temper comes out. Going to power up that fighter. Another Temper going to power up that fighter. Chaos. Ooh, knocks that thief down to its knees. Another Roost Stick cast comes out. We're going to Bane again. We're going to Temper again. We're going to Ruse again. And we're probably going to... Uh, I didn't see what that last one was. Meanwhile, we've got Fizzle pulling Tia 2. Bane Sword comes out ineffective. Ruse Sword again. Heal 3 coming down the line. What have we got? Bane. More tamper. More tamper. First swing here. Three hits, 377. That wasn't Ooh, a lot. Zap comes down the line. Going to take out black that mage. black mage. Temper coming out again. Bane sword coming out. Fight. Fight. What's he doing? Nuke. Ice two. That's not too scary. Thief swings. Two hits, 45 damage. Thanks for the crit. Lock two coming out. Like to see that. B see big hits from that sun sword. 584 damage. Decent hit. Chaos with a swing. Gonna miss that fighter. Two hits for... Ah, I missed it. <laughs> Lock two coming out again. Gonna increase that accuracy. Lower that evasion on that chaos. We're gonna heal. Pot that... Ooh, there's Inferno. Another swing from that Sun Sword. 374 damage coming out. Lock two going out again. Meanwhile, Fizzle takes care of Tia too. And he's headed to chaos as well. Yep, we will probably have dueling chaos fights here here comes another big swing four hits at. 372 chaos has some tank to them today just another swing from chaos Ooh, we are locked to in chaos quite a bit we could in theory bring that black mage up we do have life in battle on and tornado chaos having all of the oh abilities. there it is get your ggs in chat pickles and beer taking down chaos with a final time of one hour and eight minutes. One hour. One hour, seven minutes, seven 49 minutes. seconds. Excuse me. I can yep. talk sometimes. And it sounds like we are joined in the booth by Pickles and Beer. I would assume GG's to you. Hey, thanks. Um, GG's, friend. That was fun. That was certainly um, <laughs> an exciting race uh, to to definitely watch. Um, while Lord Fizzlebeef is on their Chaos fight, uh, Chaos coming out with an Ice 2. Um, the Red Mage and the Black Mage already down, but Chaos, um, Chaos versus Knight here. Trading hits, 4 hits, 462. We are just going to fight it out. Four hits, two, 724 with that Excal, and we get turn Ooh, order, we do a thousand damage, and GG's for Lord Fizzlebee, who has finished with a race time of one hour, eight minutes, and 58 seconds, so just over a minute separating our runners today, GG's. Yeah, what a great race. So, Pickles, first and foremost, where do you think the tail is? Oh, I don't know, probably something... Well, I mean, it had to be like ice or ordeals or Fun waterfall. Did not. <laughs> or did I like overlook? <laughs> did I miss something? Yeah, you missed. Do you know that you did not check Matoya's chests? Oh dang! <laughs> I meant to do that after. <laughs> oh. So Matoya. I meant to do that Matoya after Provoka. Both, yeah, Matoya had both the herb and the TNT, which oh, turned into the tail and the power bonk. Wow. <laughs> that could have been disastrous. So yeah. that was that was the kind of the kind of the oh boy he he forgot <laughs> that. Um, Fizzle beef, GG's my friend. G -G wow. Fizzle. That went about as bad as things could have gone. I we it, we said it several times at the beginning. Fizzle is going to skip Marsh. Fizzle's yeah. going to skip Marsh. Uh -huh. um, we knew that, and um, it turns out that it was Ruby into Key into Rod. And um, Loot. Ruby, yes, and Loot. And Ruby being uh, in Marsh was was not ideal for the clear Fizzle script. <laughs> uh-huh. So I, I was getting real nervous when I got down to earth three but i was keeping very careful track of what i had actually opened up until that point 
mm -hmm. and it's like I got I got a crystal, I got an adamant, and I got like a single shard, and then on the third floor I found another shard. It's just like I ain't taking the time to walk this out. Let's try and claw back some time. Let's reset. Let's go check. Um, let's go check Crescent to see if everyone was wrong today. And then, nope, it, it was March the whole time. I almost took the ruby and ran, but I was like, no, 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 I'm here. Let's just open these boxes. If I hate them, I'll reset. Yeah. And then <laughs> stupid volcano and stupid Elfland and stupid, stupid unrunnable Elfland. ocean. And yeah, uh, I think uh, Danny was screaming in the chat to go to Elfland because um, that was the uh -huh. one set of boxes that you skipped, um, mm -hmm. which also happened to contain the floater. So I bet she was, but uh, sorry, Danny, I had already wiped out a volcano. I had to claw back time where I could get it. Yeah, no, we get it. So the uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> we watched. I'm sorry, Pickles. We watched Fizzlebee throw his face into a brick wall on several <laughs> occasions. Well, you pretty cleanly worked your way through things, but you did it without the the uh, convenience of the tail and that upgrade. So that was where I think it took you a little bit longer to get through some of those fights and through some of those uh, temples because of that. But Fizzle had a harder time getting around because he didn't have the floater and seemed to have the worst of luck. Um, I, I think that that would that would be my summary. <laughs> Yeah, so it sounds like we both uh, both missed something that's like right there. <laughs> that's yep. I guess I guess that's what I get for. I I always go to uh, Batoya first. I was like, I was like, I, I got money already. We'll go to Provoker first. And wow. yeah, completely forgot about Matoya. So mm -hmm. Pickle, tell us about your white mage selection in the initial uh, race room. Um. Oh, yeah, I mean, I prefer white, black in this, but level one white had absolutely nothing, and there was nuke, so I was like, ah, screw it, let's just, we need need some more power, and it turned out to be a good thing, considering I'm a dummy and forgot to check the Matoya chest, so I don't know if I would have made it through without the extra nuke cast. Yeah, no, that was, uh, that was definitely the play. Man, I even went to Matoya with the airship to turn the crystal in, Yep, you so did. I'm like, we went like, oh, I, I've already been here. I there's, you know, I uh, oh, I opened these chests already. Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> we were we were very much. Oh, he's gonna get the chests now. He's gonna find his power <laughs> bonk and his tail. Yeah, no, those nope, were just kidding. those were already opened. <laughs> Walked out. <laughs> All right, yep. Fizzle. How were how are you feeling after that uh, that carry that carry fight the first time around? So if I wasn't convinced that I'd lost after the Earth Dive, I was convinced I'd lost after the, the wipe to carry one because stupid turn order and I can't get my stupid quad X out the stupid door. <laughs> yep, that that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, carry one for when everybody fought it was the hardest boss in the game, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, because... Sounds about I, right. Pickle didn't have, like, the easiest time with Carrie either. Just happened to make it through the first time. Indeed. Yeah. You both uh, you both took out uh, Carrie at about the same time then. Um, yep. You were both there. You were both taking it at the same time. We got back-to-back -back quad X's. Um, <laughs> so that was fun. Softnum, any questions? I think you pretty much covered what um, we had. I, I just, you know definitely uh, encouraged to watch back it was a very fun race to watch so thank you for to both of you and and everybody in chat if you aren't already follow lord fizzle beef and pickles and beer because um this was a great race uh, lots of divergence lots of kind of coming together at the end and still being within basically within a minute um is quite quite nice um so it's very exciting ggs yeah, we got to see both of you grinding on uh, Temple of Fiends Revisited. Was that four three? Mm -hmm. So whatever the gasties were, Curse, curses. Curses. Yeah. My, my strategy has been leaked. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like I had to get some levels in. I uh, had I not, you know, had I had the tail and power bonk, I would have. I don't. I may not have even done a. I may have just taken a few fights on the way up, but I'm like interesting. I. I need max 
nukes and a couple mm -hmm. more charges of temper if I have any chance of getting through this with just the sun sword and the rune sword. Yeah, yeah I hit well, Topher at level 12. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, Fizzlebeef hit Topher at level 12, so... Uh, that was a little <laughs> higher than that. He wasn't <laughs> not going to grind. I think, Pickles, I think you were level 18, 18 or yeah, so. Yeah, I think I was 18. Um, so around. we did... Yeah, Fizzle, 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 Fizzle gained uh, two levels off of his first fight and two more levels off of his second fight um, mm -hmm. to bring him up to level 16. <laughs> but ended up grinding that out a little bit more to get the levels needed to, to take it to the end. All right. Well, with that, uh, unfortunately, Mr. Beef, uh, that does mark the end of your tournament run. Um, yeah. And Pickles... You're looking forward to a matchup with... Who are we fighting? Do we know who I don't know. Somebody good. Some okay. uh, Another... Ed, another uh, is it Edgeworth, maybe? I started talking and didn't have the information, which is a, a big uh, no-no. Oh, One thank you, big... Danny. It's Rubes. Oh, it is Rubes. I was gonna oh. say that. Damn it. I don't trust myself. <laughs> so, all right, pickles, you got a matchup with Rubes coming up. Are you guys gonna do something crazy? I have no idea. <laughs> but you know, Rubes is another really strong opponent. Well, I feel like that's all there is now. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You were hoping much. for an easy race. I think you're out of luck. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any of those left. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're. Uh definitely on the everything is hard challenge and speaking of that um speaking of fun races tomorrow at 9 p.m eastern we have chanigan versus spells which is another lower round bracket race which could have been a finals um so that'll be good yeah it's gonna be it's good races from here on out so um including this one so. hoorah all right. Well, with that, let's take her into our final quarter. Uh, final thoughts, Mr. Pickles. Uh, GG again, Fizzle. That was fun. I'll have to yeah. watch that back so we can so mm -hmm. I can see uh, <laughs> both of us <laughs> do some oopsies. <laughs> and uh, thanks, everybody, for uh, putting this on. And our uh, one thoughts. of the O's, whoever that is. I get them all mixed up now. Danny, Softnum, Slario, and is that Oslodo? Our <laughs> restreamer. Yeah, thank you, thank you to them. Um, Danny and Oslodo doing a, doing the doing the fantastic work behind the scenes. Uh, final thoughts from our runner up here, Mister Legendary for bad luck. I'm going to Disney World. <laughs> All right, Sofnum, any final thoughts from yourself? Yep, just, uh, no, uh, everything I think uh, has been said, but um, thank you everybody for coming out and joining us in this morning race. Beautiful. All right, thank you, chat. Thank you, everyone. What a wonderful race. I hope you guys go back and watch it. Um, it was quite good, um, even if slightly painful at times to witness. Um, <laughs> So with that, uh, have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, wherever it is you are around the globe. This has been another race in our winter tournament. Goodbye. Yep. Thank you. <laughs>